Hello AI enthusiasts, welcome back to Skill Curve. I will try to make a simple travel itinerary application with the help of Anthropic Cloud 3's API. And we'll be using their latest Opus model, which they claim is better than GPT-4 in different scenarios. So here we are trying to check it from creativity perspective. Here I have already created a travel itinerary generator folder. And I will simply open this folder inside of VS Code by typing in code space dot. I will simply create a new file here. It would be a Python file and I will name it as travel.py. First of all, let's try to implement a basic front end with the help of Streamlit UI. First thing I need is to import Streamlit as ST. Make sure you have installed Streamlit, otherwise you have to pip install it. It's simple. Then we need to provide a title. So I will name my application as AI travel itinerary generator. Then we need some fields. First of all, I need a destination, like where a person want to travel. Okay, that would be text input. Then I will have a number input as well, st.number input, which I call days and the minimum value equals one. Then we will ask the user about their budget. So budget level equals st.select box, select budget level, low, medium, or high. Okay, there are three options only. Then we need another select box, which would be interest. Okay, st.multi-select, and we'll ask user to select their interest, whether it could be history and culture, nature and outdoors, food and drink, it could be nightlife or shopping or relaxation, okay? Like the interest for traveling purposes. So I guess these four fields would be fine for now. What I can do next is I could create a submit button. I could say st.button generate itinerary. I can assign it to a button variable, okay? And now I can say if button is pressed. So we need to add something here or logic, like what it should do. So for now, I can say pass. Let's try to run and see how our application is looking. So to run our application, I just need to open up a new terminal and I will say streamlit run travel.py. So this is how our application is looking, okay? First of all, a person needs to enter destination, for instance, Paris, number of days, for instance, three, budget level, suppose the budget is high at interest you can choose like food and drink and then click on generate itinerary so it's looking nice actually so all right that's it for our front end part so now we need to design the back end of our application so here i am inside of console.anthropic.com so if you sign up you will get a five dollars free credit so you can use that i will just simply click on start prompting with Claude. So here I am inside of workbench section. So here I can design my application and then I can simply get the code and deploy it anywhere I want. So it's that simple, you see, okay? So to design our application, we need to provide it with a few things. First of all, we need to set a system prompt. It is optional, but I believe it is really important if you want to use the application in a great manner. For that, what I can say, you are an expert tour guide for like an XYZ destination, you have an extensive knowledge of the area, including popular attractions, hidden gem, local experiences, and practical travel tips. Provide a detailed itinerary, keeping in mind the traveler's budget and interest. So that could be our perfect system prompt. All right, so for the user prompt, I can say, there's a task, create a travel itinerary for a trip to a particular destination, lasting dash number of days, the traveler has a dash budget level and is interested in like a particular interest from our drop down, which is here. Okay. It could be shopping, nightlife, nature and outdoor history and culture as well. Okay. And we are providing it with some considerations as well. Okay. Include a mix of popular attractions and some lesser known spots relevant to the interest provide a short description of each suggested activity. And we are saying incorporate estimated costs where possible considering the budget level, 
aim for balance of activities that match the selected interests. So that could do the job for us. At inside of settings, you can see that you can choose the sonnet model 2.1, 2.0, and instant 1.2. So for now, I'm using the latest model, which they claim is the best one. So you can like change the temperature as well. Here you can read higher temperature generates more creative responses, lower produces more predictable responses. So for this one, I can set the temperature to 0.7 because I want it to be a little bit more creative. And max tokens, I could specify somewhat around like 3000 that would be fine so now after just providing it with system prompt and user message what you need to do you just need to simply click on get code and here i am inside of python you can even get the code of typescript aws bedrock python or aws bedrock typescript so it's totally up to you so I can simply copy the code from here and come back to my visual studio code let me just drop this one i will paste my code at the end and i want to see where i can simply add this particular line of code okay so first of all it says import anthropic could not be resolved so we need to pip install anthropic all right it's done and it's resolved now okay so i will take this to the top okay where all my imports are there then we actually need to define the client so for that, I just need to grab my API key. I could go to the dashboard and click on get API keys, create one, and I can call it as travel, create a new key. And this is my key. I'll simply copy this key from here and I will replace my key here. Okay, it's done. You can see. So now we are left with a couple of things. First of all, I need to grab this message. Okay. And after my button is pressed, then I want my message to get generated, okay? So that's the idea of this thing. So now we need to change the variables here, which is really important. Otherwise, it won't know like what we are trying to achieve. So I will copy the destination from here. I will simply change it to an F string to insert my variables inside of them. So I can simply inject my variable here, which is destination. Okay, let me check if there are some other variables as well. Then we have in user one. Okay, so let me just change this to an F string as well. Okay, so I can grab destination from here. I will paste it here. Then let's see lasting dash number of days. And I can grab this one from here. Okay paste it here and for budget level yes budget level that's fine i can simply wrap it around curly braces and for interest i will do the same then there are considerations let's see if we got some other variable as well i think there aren't any okay so that's fine uh, let me just try to intend it all right it's done now for the last one I can simply cut it from here and place it just where this one is, okay? But I won't say it like print, rather I can say st dot write method to write it on our screen, okay? Print will just show it on the console, whereas st dot write will show that us onto our main UI. So that's the idea. I'll simply save it, go back to my terminal, and I can simply say streamlit run travel.py. It entered, it will spin up this server for us. So I will just grab this URL. That's a good sign that we didn't run into any errors. So that's great. Let's enter the destination. For instance, I can say Paris, number of days, for instance, three. Budget, let's suppose a medium one. Interest, I can choose multiple here, okay? Why? Because I just created a multi-select, st.multi-select. So you see that Streamlit is really simple. I can choose food and drink, and I can also choose, for instance, nightlife, okay? These two are fine. I will then just click on generate itinerary to see whether it's working or not. You can see it's running on the top. So here you can see it just brought back a response. It seems to be an itinerary. So you can see that content block and here's the text. Here is the suggested three day itinerary for exploring Paris with focus on food drink. 
and nightlife experiences on a medium budget. You can see here that I just checked it inside of console as well. I just added Paris, okay, uh, three days itinerary and interest in nightlife. So here is the complete itinerary. This is for day one, day two, and day three. It also tells you about like costs, which is very important if you're on a tight budget. So this one seems uh, really good. So it's not that much readable. So what I need to do here, I just want the text, okay? So this like text only, not complete content block. So what I need to do here, I just need to grab this zeroth index and from there I need to grab this text, okay? So let's try to do that. So for that, what I can say here, first of all, I'll copy this message.content and I'm trying to save it inside of like a raw text, okay? Then I can call a variable itinerary and that would be equals to raw text. I'm grabbing the zeroth index and then I can say dot text. Then I can simply paste itinerary right here. Now I hope my problem should be resolved. So let's try to see. So I am entering the destination Berlin. Number of days for checking purposes is fine. Budget low and interest food and drink. Let's see. So, all right, now our issue is resolved and we are getting the text in the forward we wanted, okay? So, this is complete single day itinerary. So, that's really great. So, now let's try to generate a complete long itinerary for us. So, for instance, if I say Frankfurt is my destination, number of days, suppose I say like three, I can generate like for seven days, 10 days for as many days as you want. Budget, let's say I'm saying medium and interest, for instance, food and drink, and I can choose nightlife as well, or maybe I can specify shopping as well. So for now, two of them are fine. I will simply click on generate itinerary. Let's see. All right, here's a suggested three day itinerary for Frankfurt tailored to your interest in food and drink and nightlife on a medium bud, okay? So let's see how it is actually crafted. So this is the day one, day two, day three, okay? So it also tells you like estimated total cost for activities and meals, excluding accommodation and transportation. And it says this itinerary combines popular attraction with lesser known spots, focusing on interest in food, drink, and nightlife. And you can adjust the activities and dining option based on your preferences and budget. Let's try to have a look at it. So it says for day one, start your morning with a visit to this place, okay? A bustling indoor market with over 60 stalls offering local and international delicacies. It says, sample some traditional Frankfurt specialties. This is a dish, cheese with onion, and like this is something green sauce. Afternoon, take a self-guided walking tour of Frankfurt's old town. Don't miss the iconic Romerburg Square with its beautiful half-timbered houses and the medieval Frankfurt Cathedral. Evening, head to this particular place known for its vibrant nightlife and apple pine pubs. Then day two, morning, visit to museum, collection of 12 museums along the main river. And for afternoon, it says, explore this particular district known for its diverse food scene. Grab lunch at this particular place. Okay, seems perfect evening like nightlife at Gibson Club, 10 to 15 euros entry. Like it says, it's city's most popular nightclubs featuring top DJs and live music. That's great. And for day three, also it says that uh, go to the greenhouses and outdoor gardens, afternoon visit the main tower, okay. Evening end your trip with memorable dining experience. Well, it seems really great tailored to your interest, like it combines food and drinks along with the nightlife. That's pretty awesome, and I am literally impressed by this model's capability. And it's fairly easy to set up. You see, you just need to go to Start Prompting with Claude. You need to specify your system prompt and the user prompt. Just need to add a few settings, click on Get Code, okay, and you can have the code and then can deploy anywhere you want. And you can also check it here as well, okay? Like if you click on run, it will run the application here as well. So that's pretty simple. And Anthropic Claude has done really a great job in this particular scenario. Well done. That's great.
So that marks the end of our, this video. I hope you like this one. Thank you so much for watching and I shall catch you up in some other one. Till then, have a good day. Bye.